Okay, here we go. So this is the twigs. We're going to open this up. And I got to tell you, it was... I had the toaster oven a little higher than it should have been. It's probably a little over 400 degrees. Which was kind of dumb on my part, but... It, and it also smelled like it was uh, like burning wood. So we'll see what we get here. Might be doing this over. So I'm gonna take that apart. Kind of, <laughs> kind of dark around the edges there. Take a screwdriver, pop that up, and you take this. You gotta pull this apart, just like that. You can take a burr and you can pop that out. It's really got kind of a burnt look to it. If you take a screwdriver and kind of pry that apart in the beginning, it helps greatly. Then what we do, you know, that's, <laughs> they're a little fried, but they're actually not too bad. They're still intact, so um, they were still quite green, and it could be they had, like, moisture in them. So we're just going to pop them out of there. We'll know next time to use a little less heat in the toaster oven. Keep it at 350, but... Okay, trying to do this all so you can see it. So I gotta get my chair here. So the next step here is we take our flex shaft or your Dremel. We put a burr in there. I like to use a uh, like a three millimeter round burr, and we can. This rubber works great for doing this. You kind of take a, an X-Acto blade, make sure it's a nice sharp one. If you use old ones, then you're more, more likely to cut yourself. We'll just for now, we'll cut that out of the way. Set that one aside. We'll do the same on this side. I think I need a new uh, ball burr. Plus I'm doing this a little faster than normal. You, you should take your time. got like a little paintbrush you can kind of brush it out like that now it'd have been good if I'd have had a little bit of powder to put in here but I I forgot that so we're gonna skip the powder we're gonna cut this off when you do this I would designate a scissors so that all it's used for is cutting rubber because it won't cut paper really well afterwards, but it usually works a long time for the rubber. This isn't even really necessary. So now, this hooks together really well. And so what you do, let me stand up. I think we can get the no nozzle here in the picture. So you got two plates, one on each side. You want to hold these together. Hopefully this doesn't slide too far. Let's see, we'll add a little more oxygen to it, a little more pressure. Normally I screw this down, but I wanted to be able to show you guys. 
So you want to count to about 10. And now we're going to have to wait so that that can solidify before I can open it up. These got a little damaged. I, not too bad. I think if the temperature would have been more accurate, uh, this would work really well. So uh, I, I think we got something good here. Uh, you can always kind of see, you may not be able to see in the video, but it's, it's light blue on the outside and a dark blue on the inside. So that's telling me that it's still molten on the inside. Um, a lot of people use different colors of wax. If you had pink, it would be, it would work the same way. Uh, it'd be a different color on the inside. So I would probably normally let this take a little longer, but we're going to pull it apart. And you can see we got two twigs in here and they injected great. We got a good mold. And if I wanted to, I could inject multiples and invest investment cast them as many as I wanted. So I think we'll end it there. All right, thanks.